All right. Well, hey there. How's it going? Hey, uh, how are you? I'm doing pretty great. Thanks for asking. And it's your local neighborhood, Dad. Here with Toast Nuggets. Thanks for joining me, sir. Deuce to Chunk, being a teenager and hating my guts for me. And welcome to another episode of Mugbang Quality Time. I almost forgot the name. Also, do you know I forgot how much a crumble cookie is? Now, we were supposed to just do one crumble cookie, which is the hummingbird, but then it is four fifty. Yeah. Four dollars and fifty cents for just one cookie? That's insane. So went ahead and got a four pack. That's right. We got all four. And this week is not atrocious, but two of them uh I wasn't excited about. And one is for the missus. But let's get the the uh old standbys out the way. First off, we have cookies and cream, which looks it's gonna be the best one. Probably is gonna be the best one. Now, this is pretty much a chocolate cookie. I remember from the website that it was supposed to be more like white and then chocolate mixed in, but this is more chocolate. And I guess it's got uh white chocolate chips and the drizzle in it. And that looks pretty good, as usual. Next up is butterscotch something chip. I should have had you look at the website to see what it is. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. It existed. Me too. It's been so long, so please forgive us. Next up is, now this is caramel shortcake. And I'm sorry, but this yeah, doesn't look like a Twix. This is like the blue leg Twix uh, cookie that they always have. And last, they probably got into it with the, the Morris company or whoever makes Twix. Yeah. And last but not least, the one that we went to try, of course, which is the Hummingbird Cake Cookie. Now, this is a pineapple banana cake flavored cookie with uh, white with cream cheese frosting and pecans on the top. Oh, that's such a weird combination. But apparently it's like a popular cake or something. Oh, my goodness. Now, I may have forgot to get all the details of the cookies and how much the cookies cost, but I did not forget. Our Rusty Dusty Cookie Cutter 7000 Premium Edition and still pending. Apparently, are you gonna be licking all your fingers? I'm sorry, bro. Like, I ain't touched the cookie. I'm gonna cut it and I then you can knock it. Here, you cut the cookie then. All right. First cookie we cut in is going to be the cookies. Well, no, let's say that for last because that's the best one. That's chocolate. Yeah, let's try the new one first. All right, let's try the new one first. Let's see. It's, all right. All right, I think your mom it. is looking forward to their fourth one. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Hey there, Sherry. Man, we we still be posting on the channel, but YouTube won't push out our videos if it's not a crumble video. But we got a plethora of other videos doing other foods and stuff. So yeah, there you go. Our plan is we only go do a crumble review if it's a cookie we have not had, and so it's the hummingbird cookie. So never had that. I didn't even know that was a cake. Yeah, I never even heard it. I thought this was just pecan. Much less a cookie. So, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. I hate pecans, too. It smells good. Too bad. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, kind of intrigued. Let's look. And it's, you know how they do their cake cookies. It's nice, thick on the inside. You know how it goes. Ew. All right. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres. Yeah, I'm more of a chocolate guy, I'm not even gonna lie. Like actually we didn't Okay. okay. Hmm. Mm. I don't get the pineapple. I don't get that either. I do get the banana. It's as close to banana bread. I don't taste banana bread at all. Really? Hmm. There's pieces in there. I don't get the pineapple flavor. It tastes more close to banana bread. I do like that white whatever frosting. The white, what is it called? You said cream cheese. Cream cheese. I do like the cream cheese frosting with it. Mm. 
I don't know how you forgot the name of it. Like, you like cream, cream cheese stuff. I really kind of do. I do like the cream cheese stuff. Next up, let's try this caramel, whatchamacallit, blah, blah, blah. This is the twist cookie. Now, this is cold. The banana, uh, the hummingbird was actually warm. This is the cold cookie. Y'all ain't telling me nothing. This, this is the Twix. See, this is why we don't do it no more. Because it's the same. It's it just read different designs. It's, the, and it's they, not even big design. It's just like tiny little change. They just change the name. Now, they probably they do change the recipe. I know this. However, it's not enough to blah, blah, blah. But it's been probably a year since we done had these. So let's try it and see if it's tasty. I'm going to Yeah, it just tastes like Twix in my opinion. This is Twix. Yeah, this is just Twix. Wow. I'm not a big caramel guy. Now, is it good though? It's pretty decent. I can't take another bite. Now, this is a good, thick, chewy cookie. I like, this is why I like the cold cookies. The density of it. It's nice and super dense. So it has more chewing that you have to do. Exactly. Okay. Next up is the butterscotch chip. Now, this cookie, I believe, is for old people. Yeah, it's butterscotch. Look, y'all. If you enjoy butterscotch, nine times out of ten, you are 90 years old on the inside of your body. We're 60 and up. Minimum 60. Minimum. You know what? We should have cut this in eighth. Uh, I'm just going to do that to my piece. Yeah, cut mine in the eighth too. Well, why don't you just take this piece? That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, okay. No, 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 no. We should cut your piece. No, I'm just saying this is my piece. Oh, okay. Thanks for the great idea. All right, here we go. Old people could get you know the trays. A lot. Yeah, it doesn't taste. No, good. it doesn't taste. Good. No, it doesn't. No, my taste buds are too young. Okay, I can taste the butterscotch now. Keep them. Oh my gosh, I feel eight thousand years old right now. What's up, I am twelve. Yeah. Hey, I thought this was from here. I didn't realize you were live until you said hot to the chat. Hey, Rach. It should have been. Well, no, nah, I wanted to do it live. I haven't talked to everybody in so long. I miss you guys on some real stuff. Everything good so far, except for their butterscotch. This butterscotch is disgusting. All right. That one was all right. Cut that into the ace for us. The ace? Yeah. Well, I want. I want I oh, you want a quarter of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see. Iron Swaz says, Junior, we know you love chocolate chip. Thanks for being a good sport. <laughs> yeah. Everybody likes you, Junior. All right. But you cut me an eighth, though. You don't like... Okay, give me a whole quarter. Oh, uh, it is too late. It is too late. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, now, one thing I always give it up about the cookies and cream... Oops. Cookies and cream, they always stuff it with what they say they're going to stuff it with. Cookies and cream. I should have gotten a napkin. And it smells so good. It really does. This smells like... It smells like Oreo. It smells like an Oreo. Wow. All right, here we go. I'm going to go straight. Yeah, it's the best one. I just... I'm just biased. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Like, anything that is anything but chocolate... Like, the Twix comes second. I already have the whole entire list, actually. That's no bias here. This is clearly the winner. This is the winner as soon as they... Up the whole yeah. list. Like, what's the point in any of the other flavors when you got cookies in front? Mm hmm All right. It is now time for the rankings. Eagle fish. Let me bring back the honey. The hummingbird. All right. For this week, the clear winner, above and beyond every other cookie, mm -hmm. obviously the cookies in front. Mm-hmm. Durr. Second, I'd have to give it to the blue leg Twix. Same. Third is the hummingbird. Yep, same. 
and let not even on the list because it is deep down beneath the butter earth. scotch. It's butterscotch. It's butterscotch. It's very where the people who would like to eat it live at, which is underground because they died of old age. That's where the butterscotch is. Surprisingly enough, do you know who is looking forward to this cookie? My mother. His mom. Uh, the wife is looking forward to this cookie this because cookie. she is She's 300 old. years old on the inside. Very much so. All right, let's see. Yo, that Marco's pizza. Actually, I like it. I was shocked. You do need a napkin around my mouth. Do I need a napkin around my mouth too? I don't see anything. Oh, okay. Just leave. Maybe like an ash white. Let me do this right here and you should have it. I, I need some for my hands too. Oh, okay. I'll be good. That Marco's pizza, I was flabbergasted. So flabbergasted. And I like the, the box too. I was surprised by the box, but what made me try them was they were the only people that was open at that time. The only location well no we had little local spots but not my new york style local spots but just the random people that just said hey i'm gonna open a pizza spot and they main thing they selling is beer like they be like you know them bar pizza kind of places uh, and they pizza be very subpar so i was like no bueno so i was like man after i got into it with sir silent about how trash marco's website is because I don't care what nobody said. Their website, they must have built that in 1995. Like, soon as AOL came online, that's when they built that website, and they didn't change it. Exactly. But, <laughs> you see? <laughs> no, you still got some right here. And why you didn't bring the napkin? Oh, yeah, that's my bad. For the community. But, I go I go today, today, and... Uh, decrepit website, and I'm like, wow, they still open, and Papa John's was open too, but guess what? Papa John's then take carryouts after like 10.30. They only would do delivery, and I ain't doing no, I don't use Uber Eats, I don't use Dash, DoorDash, I don't use none of that. Why well, I'm gonna pay somebody $57 to bring me some, and I'm a able-bodied adult. I never got that. Even when the pandemic was happening, never understood it. And then the extra fees, this boy right here, let me tell y'all a story about this time we went out of town. <laughs> this boy go, he like, yo, if you want to order something, you can order something to eat. This dude spent, he did three separate Uber orders, same day, and tipped these folks like $8 each every Actually, time. it wasn't $8. How it much was, was it? It was like 3 to 5 5 <laughs> 3 to 5 On top of the fee, the fee was $3 for sure. At least $4 was the fee. and But he only ordered like half a combo so he spent as much money on the fees as the food but three times three separate orders i didn't even i'm not even gonna lie i didn't even i already knew it was gonna be bad once y'all left me alone with uber eats so i was like in my mind i was like oh no yeah because the only thing you paid attention to was the food and you didn't look and did do the math well like i was because when it's whenever it comes to online eating it's just like something in my mind like, I don't want to, but I I do it anyways. Yeah, get it together. But, <laughs> so, Marco's was the only thing open. I was like, all right. Went to the website after I got out my um, almanac to make through how to order on the website. I tried a thin crust. The last time we did a review on Marco's, it was a thick crust. And I think I got one of the Magnifico pieces. It was not Magnifico. That thick crust was tasteless. And it tasted like... It, to be honest, they magnifico pizza tasted a step down from a DiGiorno's. Because DiGiorno's it's horrible. It's still delicioso. Something's wrong with you, boy. So, end up, I was like, let me get the thin crust. Who who can mess up a thin crust pizza? You know what I'm saying? Who? Nobody. Hopefully, nobody. Dominoes. Probably. I have not tried Dominoes thin crust pizza. They pan pizza was edible. But it wasn't delicioso. So get the thin crust. Got to get extra cheese. Do y'all? Do you know? So you one of the people don't like extra cheese on your pizza. I don't like stuffed crust. But I also don't order extra cheese, and you was like, oh, too much cheese. It is no, but I still ate it though. I still like it. But yeah, but she said it was too so much cheese. It was, and you didn't eat a lot of it, and I ended up eating it. 
Anyway, that's because you don't save you don't save all the pieces. Um, y'all be like, waiting five it, years to eat. Pizza. You gotta spread out. You gotta spread out the times. Dude, you eat once the pizza come in the house, it's only fifteen minutes. But no, here's the thing though. There's some cases where I wouldn't want to eat stuff that's in the fridge, so I'd like to save the pizza so that I can spread out the times that I don't have to eat homemade food. Dude, you do, y'all don't eat leftovers. Y'all will leave some in the refrigerator for four days, me? then no, open it up, me. and then be like, bro, and then don't eat. What? That's what about me. all them red bearings, bro? That, that, what that's about all the red bearings? That, that's frozen pizza. That's that, what, red bearing is delicious. Red bearing is the pinnacle of the frozen pizzas. And you, you, actually, actually, it's better whenever it's left out at night. Yet you don't eat it. Yes, I do. No, that, you that, don't. Yeah, in the mean. middle of the night. Anyway, I, back to my Marco <laughs> store because we only got two minutes because we still got to get you to school on time. So I get thin crust and extra cheese, sausage on one side and pepperoni on the other side because when you get the sausage and pepperoni mixed together, you can't really taste if the you know I wanted to taste if it was high quality pepperoni. And if it was high quality sauces. Get to the place. They were super nice. Also had great customer service. Because they was mopping and closing up. Me personally, I would have locked the door. And just been like. <laughs> That's what I would have did. But they opened the door. Handed me a pizza. That pizza. I ordered that pizza at like 10.30. That pizza was done by like 10.40. By the time I got there. Because we live about 7 minutes away. So, uh, get there, open it up, and it looked delicioso. When I say it looked delicioso, I was like, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I was wowed out. Took a bite, pulled it up on the sausage side. Also, I like to get sausage just by itself because it's way more cheese island. Pulled that, that cheese up. It was like I was catching a fish. Had to yank it off. Pepperoni's still better. It was tastastic. The pepperoni was good, but... Uh, I always will get half and half pepperoni and sausage. That's but good. um, for this week, uh, is this a go week for you? Only for Oreo. Only for Oreo. Like, don't if you the hummingbird was. It's not humming. Let me let me see. Let me try one more time. It's not humming for me. I'm sorry. It's just it doesn't stand out enough. For me to justify going trying it. And to be honest, I have what want to do a class action lawsuit against Crumble for frauding me. Because they was texting this earlier this year. Because in the Reddit group, I seen they was testing this. The Reddit group? Yes, yeah, a Reddit. You know the Oh, group. Reddit group. And they was talking about this was a tester cookie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a school day, but we don't value education in this house like that. We value um going out and get it yourself. He probably gonna be like the landscaper or something. Landscaper. I don't use the delivery choices either. The extra fees and the chance somebody put their hands in my food. I you know what? I used to deliver food, but like back in the day, like in the early two thousands, before this. I'm being honest. Yeah, you see some. This Gen Z delivering people's food. The these them young kids, them are people you can't trust. Back in the day, why would I want to touch your food? Why, Junior? Yeah, that's kind of why I was on edge on getting Uber Eats before, but now I just don't care. Well, all right. Well, I am so I was joking earlier about the school thing. We got to get this boy out of here. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Mugman Quality Time slash Crumble Review. Whenever they come out with another new cookie, you will see us. Um, next review I got coming up is the Culver's Pepper Steak. What was it? it was pepper Corn Pepper something pub burger. It was delicious. So, but check out the review. Also, if you're not getting our um notifications, you gotta go hit the bell. You see right here. Oh, no. you see right here on the screen. <laughs> That's you gotta right. hit the the subscribe, and then you gotta hit the bell. But the bell gotta have a little thingy thing, thingy things around it. That should alert you. But even if it don't, it's because um, YouTube is 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 something, and I'm not gonna bring that up this morning. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Junior, for joining us. Hope you guys have a good day at work, and remember, 
even if you hate going to work, is money, and you need it to live. See you guys later. Bye.